So ecocide is the extensive destruction, damage to or loss of ecosystems of a given territory, whether by human agency, so that's human caused, which is largely, but not always, corporate ecocide, mass damage and destruction that's caused by corporate activity, or by other causes. Now that can be naturally occurring ecocide, rising sea levels, tsunamis, floods, mass catastrophic events, which can be triggered as a result of human activity, especially corporate ecocide. But here's the thing, I'm not saying that these people are evil. This is not about good and bad. It's about people, good people, being stuck in a system that no longer works. It's about directors and ministers making decisions because it is the law to put the interests of shareholders first. It is the law to put profit first. It is the law to value monetary considerations over and above intrinsic values. But I disagree. I think it can be very different. And that's about how we disrupt this cycle of damage and destruction, which is spiraling downwards and downwards faster and faster and faster. So it's not about slowing it down a little bit. It's about how do we stop it, halt it in its tracks. Quite literally say, enough, no more. This must stop. We already have existing international crimes. They're known collectively as crimes against peace. We have crimes against humanity, war crimes, genocide, and the most recent one is crimes of aggression. That's the run-up to war. But I believe there's a missing fifth international crime against peace, and that crime is ecocide. It's not just about the well-being of human life, it's about the well-being of all life. All it needs is just one head of state to stand up and call for an amendment to the Rome Statute. And when that head of state does that as a signatory to the Rome Statute, 121 countries are signatories, then it must be tabled. And when it's tabled, it's just a matter of two thirds of the signatories signing this off and supporting it. That's 81 people in the world. View the Earth as a living being, and our view and our understanding radically shifts. That's us about being guardians, stewards. It's about a legal duty of care. It comes from a very different place. It comes from the heart.